we're going to talk about pest management in the context of cover crops. Now we need to take a different tactic when we have cover crops present. And the reason is cover crops can sometimes create a bridge for pests to move from the cover crop onto the cash crop that we're planting. We recommend that growers use the best practice of terminating the cover crop three to four weeks prior planting. However, there's some situations where growers can't do that and some situations where they don't want to do that. For example, you can get more biomass by planting in green and that's the situation we're in here today. If we do plant green and even if we terminate three to four weeks prior to planting, scouting is critical. We don't know a whole lot about the pest complexes that will result from cover crops. The reason for that is cover crops are fairly new to us and in terms of a species mix, oftentimes we have a lot of different cover crop species that are in there and depending on the season, what cover crops are used, that's going to influence what pests are present. One of the tools that you can use to scout cover crops is going to be a sweep net. Now you just got to do the best you can. I'm a little bit over six feet tall and you can see how tall this cereal rye is. You got to use the sweep net to cover as much foliage as you can. Be sure to get up into the heads. There's a lot of insects that like to feed in the heads, steak bugs being one example. Another thing we need to consider with scouting is actually getting down on our hands and knees and making sure that we know what's on the cover crop itself. Tools like the sweep net are not necessarily adequate to sample pests on the soil surface or on the lower part of the plant. So it's important that we actually do some direct sampling ourselves before planting to see if pests are there. One of the most important things we can do for pest management happens at planting. We need to make sure that our planters are adjusted to close the furrow if possible. The reason for that is that open furrow, of course, can affect seed germination, but it can provide a place for pests to hide. Slugs are very prevalent, for example, in cover crops because they provide residue that retains soil moisture. So it's very important that we're able to close the furrow, and it's also important that we're able to remove as much residue as possible from around that furrow. So if you can adjust the trash sweepers to remove the residue, that'll help us out with our uh, pest management in the future. In conclusion, cover crops are very important for soil management, but we do need to change our pest management practices.